Okay, so we've left my cottage in Northamptonshire and we're now in my new home in Hertfordshire. This is the new HQ of Hagley West Watches. You must be manic at the moment, Tim, I can imagine. Moving house, Christmas, and then I've the thought of being in a tier three lockdown for three days on my own in a new house. But I'm looking at the positives on it because it just means that I'll have 100% focus on getting everything up to date. Uh, yeah. And, and there won't be any distractions, won't be a go, any going out. It's, it's got to be nearly all brand awareness on the thought now. Um, keep doing what we can, keep people getting to the side, but not putting a massive focus on um, budget and to sell it and to sales, you know? Yeah. It's the end of the nail, my friend. The wall, the backdrop wall, which has been a backdrop for many a video, is coming down. Gotta have a KFC stop. Okay, so we've left my cottage in Northamptonshire and we're now in my new home in Hertfordshire. This is the new HQ of Hagley West Watches. So today marks the one year anniversary of the end of the crowdfunding events where we broke the world record for the highest ever raised for the fashion watch industry. And what a year it's been since then. We just haven't stopped. Even though COVID has tried to stop us, we've kept on going. We've managed to bring out three new watch ranges. We've sold into 45 different countries across the globe. We've got a new digital marketing agency working with us. And we've also been bringing out this, the HW journey, showing you everything that I do behind the scenes on a weekly basis. We've managed to build a whole new audience on TikTok. I now have over 300,000 followers, but we have real purpose. And the purpose is to drive forward even more into next year. I'm now moving into new surroundings. It's going to be a bit different, <laughs> new kitchen, but it's going to be the same purpose and the same drive going forward. How you doing, bud? Tell me what's up, Nick. I get customers shouting me all the time. It's taking about 10 days to deliver a watch in the, in the UK. It's quicker to deliver a watch wow. to the States. Right, I'm having my leaving do from the village. Yes, I have a game today. I actually have a game today, Sam. So played a game today in the States here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. coming up on Abu Dhabi next, next month. Well, if you're not in COVID restriction. Yeah, I don't know what would be the procedure. Yeah. Well, if, if there's an opportunity to like spend a bit of time and get some filming done and get to see some cricket and have a bit of a rest. I might come out with George. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Take it easy. All right, mate. Bye. Uh, cheers. This year's been a massive learning curve and it's been excruciatingly painful at times. The last few weeks has been terrible. Uh, we just built up a really good load of momentum. We got kicked off uh, Facebook ads from no, from no problem or no fault of our own. We've rectified that, but it means that we've missed a couple of weeks of advertising when we could have really been pushing pushing everything home. The thing that keeps me going is that I can see the behaviour of the customer. And I can see how everyone's reacting to the watches. And I can see the growth patterns. And I just can't wait to get a bit of stability back. This house move has been a pain as well. And I can't wait to get Christmas out of the way with and to start next year and to get that stability back into the marketing and into the business and into life. <laughs>